Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to make a video real quick to show you how to use the paste image extension in VS Code. It'll really save you a lot of time on your life. In VS Code, if you go to the extensions, you're going to look for paste image. It's got about 382,000 downloads. There's a couple of settings to check out in it. If you go to the gear icon and click on extension settings, you can check those out either for your local workspace or for your user settings overall. I've got a one in here I'm gonna show you real quick. You can check the default file name here. I like to keep the same one to make all of my files unique by the year, month, day, hour, minute, and second. And I'll show you how to move the directory in just a second. So let's say this is your markdown file and you wanna paste an image in. Um, it can take a while to do it by hand, but with this extension, Let's say I'm going to take a screenshot real quick of just the screen right there. And if I push on my MacBook, it is command option V. It can paste that in there as a keyboard shortcut. You can see it pasted it right over there in the preview. That is very handy. One thing you might want to change would be the location. So if we look in the Explorer, we can see it put it in the same directory as the file we're editing, but we may want to move it down to this image folder or maybe another folder called images. No matter, we go back to settings for the extension. To get back there, you can go to the extensions. Remember, open the setting or click the gear and go to extension settings. From there, you're going to look for this thing that says name prefix. We're going to put in dot dot slash images forward slash, and that's gonna put it at the beginning of the file name when we paste the image. And the reason we wanna do that is dot dot slash means go down a directory and then go back into the images folder. So let's go back to our markdown file and let's paste the image again. You can see that time it put it in dot dot slash images and it saved the right path here in our markdown file. It'll save you a lot of time you can see here in green, there's the new one in the images folder. So hope that helps save you a little bit of time when you're writing those markdown files.